Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Smart Tank. I am Shannon Epstein, alongside the wondrous one, Bob Black. What's up? Not much. Not yeah. much. Yeah. You know what? I always wait to the end of the show to tell people how to contact us, but I feel like people only listen for the first five to ten minutes. Yes. So we just got to get all the juicy bits out early. Listen, everybody. I want to tell you how you can contact us. Sure. But before we do that, I want to go to an ad from our sponsor. No, I'm kidding. We don't have ads. Yeah. Uh, you can email us at wearesmarks at gmail.com. You can also write to us on our Facebook at facebook.com slash I like smarks. You can also tweet to us on our Twitter at I like smarks. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, but if you didn't know. Samoa Joe is the our United States champion. Congrats. He, he is. He is. I'm a little disappointed in this. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. It's late. It's late. Um, not because of the fact that Joe got it or it's late or whatever. I'm disappointed because I was really enjoying our truths oh, Cowardly <laughs> Lion Run. Yeah, no, that was fun. <laughs> like last week, he he was just like, oh, I don't I don't want to do a triple threat. I'm okay. Thanks. And then he's like, I wanted to be like my childhood hero, John Cena. Yeah. But he's older than John Cena. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. And they, um, they weren't going to give that push that long. Yeah. Let's be real. But let's also be real about the fact that the dude's been there longer than homie Kofi. And my son, homie Kofi, bro. Yeah. He's been there longer than homie Kofi. And he has had. Many indie championships. He has. I mean, like, it's ridiculous how, how like, over he was on the indies. And then, like, WWE got a hold of him and was like, listen, you're going to make the most money you've ever made. <laughs> and, and Archie was like, yeah, you're going to have squash matches <laughs> with fucking Sin Cara for the rest of your life. Archie's like, I don't have a problem with that. I was just like, this is what I came here for. Yeah, like, I came here for the light workload. I came here for the money and the light yeah. workload. Archie was like, you pushing me again? Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly. But it's not, it's not like, I don't think he cares. Like, that's the thing. Yeah, like, I, I think it's kind of like Daniel Bryan syndrome where Daniel Bryan's like, I'm just happy to be here, guys. This is great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and, like, our yeah. truth is like, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to make good money. I'm happy to, you know. Be able to do my hip hop career. That's not. Is he still doing hip hop? Yeah, yeah. yeah, He's. Have you ever listened to an R Truth song? No. It's really special. I believe it. It's real, real special. I only remember he used to come out with Road Dog, Road Dog Jesse James, (laughs) and they used to rap together. I was like, why is why is the Road Dog rapping? I don't know. (laughs) This guy, other guy, why is the Road Dog rapping out? Jeff Jarrett now. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what's going on. Anymore. I was like, I was like, this, this other guy can new, rap. It's a new old era. That people over here, what's up? Yeah, this is a good song. This is a good up? song. You know what? It's like it's like that intro music was really good when it came out because it was like the age of like Pete Pablo and like that kind of like like North Carolina, like that kind of like hip hop. But like, like it, like, like, yeah. But like now it's like it doesn't work because we were like, I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why I'm supposed to. Now, if he made a if he made an intro music with the Migos, that would change the game. Well, the, the problem he would is, get pushed right away. I want to I want to just give you um like how stagnant it's been. It's that when you when you repackage a wrestler these days, apparently you repackage them with the same music. Yeah, no, you gotta. I mean, like, yeah, apparently, and 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 you would be right. In that assessment, because like Becky Lynch has been doing great and still coming out to that stupid steampunk music, <laughs> you know, like it's like <laughs> wham, wham, wham. I'm just like, Whoa. <laughs> it sounds like fucking three drunk guys in a room. Whoa, my fucking like, Becky! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, listen, listen, man, let's, let's sing the Becky Lynch theme Whoa. song. No, nah, bro, I don't know what the fucking Becky Lynch song thing is. It's mad easy, bro. Whoa! Oh, I know that one. Whoa! Uh, and then the, one, the last guy's like, whoa! Like, no, 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 wrong song, man. That's, that's And, like, when you repackage somebody and then give them a new theme, a, 
sort of with Shinsuke. We're yeah. Shinsuke now. So, uh, yeah, yeah no, I, I guess the theory. I don't know. Of, yeah. You got to keep them their same intro music. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, every time Triple H got a fucking repackage, he became 15 more time champions. That is true. You know, so like, I don't know. I honestly just think that the writing is pretty terrible. It, 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 um, yeah. I have to say, like, Russell, Russell Talk kind of like uh, opened it up a little bit when they were like, I just want you to know how ridiculous this Ronda Rousey Becky Lynch feud is. They <laughs> stripped the title, turned one heel, turned one face. Yeah, yeah. Gave back the title, reinstated somebody, arrested somebody, brought them back from <laughs> arrest, a dropped the charges. Th- yeah, a lot of things happened. It's like, wait a minute. And I was like, yeah, yeah, this, this definitely all happened. That, that in the span is. of like a month and a half, it's strange that all that thing, all that like stuff, like none happened. of authority angles, non-authority angles, yeah, none of this needed to happen. No, but you they know. kind of, it kind of was easy, but they were just like, like one hand didn't know what the other was doing. It was like, wait, no, we're not doing the authority angle. Stop, no, but we are, we are. Never oh, mm-hmm. stop. Vince is like, I need an authority angle for uh, yeah, but Vince is like going senile, like. Like this country is at this point. Like it's it's come to a point where it's like somebody needs to take take away the person driving the car drunk. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. it's like, all right, dude, you're you're clearly wasted. He's like, no, bro. Uh, trust me, I've driven. I, I've we're gonna dri- sing the Becky Lynch theme song, bro. Down I ninety five, okay, bro. I've driven listen, this I've, a ton whoa, of times, bro. Whoa, 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 bro. Watch me drive this. The, and I've then, driven and then this. I'm like a guy who just had milk, and then, <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, listen, man, I just had milk. Let me drive the car. No, man, you're drunk. You mm. know how drunk people always want to be the first one to accuse others of being drunk. No, That's you're true. drunk, you idiot. You're drunk. And you're like, no, man, no. Let me drive the car. I'm sober. I had milk. I was there watching you because I know you get wasted every time you go to the bar vents. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Yeah. Now it's time to, time for M- Triple H, the guy who's been drinking milk since 1994, to have the rain at this point. It's nah. like, holy shit. Can they not keep nah. a story? He's like, he's like nah, bro. He's like, don't worry. I've driven this road to WrestleMania like <laughs> yeah. 70 times, bro. You know I mean? Vince, yeah. you have, but not sh- drunk. Shut up. Just get in. <laughs> get in. Okay, I'm driving. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's a heel turn. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, making a quick left turn right here. <laughs> All right, Becky. Now we're back in Authorityville. <laughs> I don't like you, Becky. Charlotte's in your place. Like that works, yeah, it works. But like, if you don't, if you don't execute it the right way, yeah. where Becky comes back, no, Becky, you're gonna keep running in and pissing off Rhonda. I just don't. it's Rhonda's fault. It's not my fault. You're just you're gonna blame Rhonda. That's what you're gonna do. I just don't understand. You're gonna have Twitter beef. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna have Twitter. No, you're not supposed to have Twitter beef. What I know. Are you doing? <laughs> they were mad about that. They were they mad were. about the fucking Twitter beef. They're silly. They just don't like. They don't like. They don't like the. Yeah. They don't like penis. Like they have penis envy. Like know. what? I don't understand. I don't get it. They like. They're like. It's like. It's like Vince is. Vince is. I mean, Vince is old, so I don't think he gets it. But like, uh, but it's not. Well, that that's not Vince. Probably yeah. that was probably like more Mark Carano and like yeah. the, the board of directors and Mattel and like they're like. I think we it was, cancel action figures if you keep yeah. saying the p word. Stop yeah. it. There's there's a lot of cursing sort of, and they're like, oh, you can't be cursing like that. No, she's like, I don't care what the script says. Next time I see you, I'm beating the shit out of you. Like breaking yeah. kayfabe on Twitter now. So we talked about how Twitter is the new kayfabe, it is, right? Yeah. And it's like blurs the lines of reality. Yeah. Right. It's working. It it's is working. It people is. are people are buying it. People yeah. are like, "Whoa, what the fuck is is happening?" Yeah, like, appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate a heel turn really well. Legit fucking beef. Yeah. Um, Ronda Rousey's threatening. She's like, "Listen, I don't give a shit. I don't need this fucking job. I can quit and do other things, and I'm mad happy." So like, yeah, I don't. I don't even care about your no compete clause. You no p- compete clause can suck my dick. It's so like like all those things are so interesting because they they wanted her she didn't want them yes she's she's probably the only active wrestler in reality that's like I I can 
go do anything. I can leave. Yeah, I'm like I'm about to be the voice of Tonya Blade. I'm good. You know, she's forget. It's not just that yeah. she can do anything. She, she, she yeah, she, no. she's built up her brand so fucking mighty that like this little blip only made her stronger actually yeah. because like wrestling fans are very loyal. So like the minute you're you become a wrestler and like you're popular on on WWE, like Cameron. Uh, yes. What's her What's her name? Uh, yeah, I guess it's Cameron or whatever. Who? The the girl who was like girl by that girl. Uh huh. Yeah, she she like sold an EP just off wrestling. Sure. Yeah. Like Jillian Hall, remember her? Jillian Hall, yeah. She she had like basically did like a kayfabe Christmas album and it like sold. I mean, like let's be like real. Just destroyed iTunes. Let's, let's be real. Jonathan Coachman got a job at ESPN as like a legit sports analyst. But he he was before yeah. before. Yeah, wrestling. but like but like but like everyone knew him as like the WWE guy, and then he became just Jonathan Coachman. He wasn't the coach anymore. Right. Well, then he came yeah. back, and yeah. then now he should go back. Yeah. Uh, no. No. That's why I was like. That's why it feels bad for. I feel bad for because I'm. Just, like, I know he's getting paid way more than they pay him at ESPN because like the WWE is like they, money. They're starving for. <laughs> they're starving for credibility. Money. Done. Well, that's the thing. Like re- wrestling's always starving for credibility. Like yes. you know, it's like a it's like a narcissistic uh, theater major at community college. They're starving for credibility. They're starving for reason. Um, and that's what, oh, Jonathan Coachman, you, <laughs> you left us and you became credible. <laughs> oh, come back. Money, Jonathan Coachman. Yes, and he's like, sure, I'll be the worst commentator you ever had for a price. <laughs> Whatever you need. It's like, it's Actually, like, let me, let me take that back. There was somebody who was worse than him and I forgot who he was. He was like. Some old older white man with brown hair. He was like terrible. He was just the worst. And then they put him in like an authority angle at some point. Oh, and no, Lair- it was Lair- not Laronitis. It was before Laronitis. Oh. He, it was like probably 2006 or something. He was just terrible. He was just so bad. He was like, I'm on the air and I don't understand what wrestling is. <laughs> How do I interview you? And we everybody who watched him was just like, this guy is just so bad yeah who is the, like he was just a schmo like that's what you that's what you wanted to be man he's a all, schmo he's all, be a schmo it's all about that schmo life all right well it's like it was like michael che and the snl guy being mm-hmm. on, on raw this week and like no selling everything yes he was like wow braun you're real strong it was like pete davidson <laughs> on like every sketch kind of like yeah, kinda, yeah. did you did, wait did you see the pete davidson some of the stuff that happened this weekend on snl no pete davidson was like in a screen parody uh-huh. and he was just like a douchebag and like the the guy ended up being like some old child from school that like uh-huh. had been wronged by him he's like you slept with my mom he's like whoa really that's cool <laughs> how's she doing <laughs> and my wife Oh damn! Like <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now. No, I'm good. Like, <laughs> like that. That was kind of like what it was like watching this and all people like all night. Like, yeah, I'm good. Nah, I don't. I don't really want to be here. SNL told me I had to be here. I'm making money. I'm good. You know, like it's like no, you just stop giving people. Cr- like, this is like when they had. This is like when they had Kathy Lee and Hoda on yeah on it and then like adam rose was somehow involved it's like my boy who i haven't really spoken to texted me he's like don't they have other wrestlers they could be giving this time to and was like a casual fan yes and i was like yes they do you are not wrong yeah like kathy lee and hoda have their audience at 11 o'clock to noon or whatever the hell time they fucking come on good day whatever Stop. Stop yeah. stop starving for credibility. You're making yourself look bad. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> it's like it's like still being drunk, Vince. It's like, no, I'm gonna sleep with this girl. She's mad hot. It's like, dude, no, she's like <laughs> not mad hot, Vince. Don't do stop. it. Stop. <laughs> like you're gonna wake up in the morning and have a couple of regrets. <laughs> no, nah, dude, no, this is great. I, listen, I'm gonna drive you home. No, I don't want you to drive me home. I'm trying to stop you from making a mistake. No. Nah. And then, then he just like he's like, no, no, listen, I'm gonna go over there right now. And it's like, you know what? I can't stop you anymore. I'm gonna go do my own thing in NXT. Yeah. So like, I'll see you later. Yeah. You do your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. And every time people ask me when my thing's better, I'm gonna say it's like listening to jazz. 
and it's like listening to metal music. You pick what you like. That's true. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Pick whatever you like. Don't, just stop. Stop, uh, you know, stop getting mad at me. No, uh, you know what? It is what it is. I mean, there was, any, but like there, there were some interesting things that that happened this week. Can't, it wasn't all awful. Uh, yeah, but that's that's kind of the nature of the game right now. Yeah. It's like Vince McMahon's like drunk and and he goes, "I need help! Everybody help me!" And everybody rushes to him. Oh, Vince, we'll pick you up. <laughs> vomit all over you. Yeah, and like, it's like, hey, no, right, don't I got, worry. I got, I got, I got some ideas. I got some ideas. Everybody's got some ideas, Vince. We can make this product better. We can turn this ship around. Okay, guys, what's your idea, Shane? Well. Listen, uh, I'm going to be in a tag team with him. Okay, you go do that. <laughs> you go do that. Oh, you go do that. You know? And then and Stephanie's like, I'm going to I'm gonna be an authority angle and, and get Ronda Rousey over. Okay, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte uh, comes along. I, I'm going to get in this triple threat and just make it credible. Oh, I like credibility. I really <laughs> like credibility. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah, do that. Do uh, that. I'm not going to mention my father. I'm going to keep that between Batista and Triple H. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Batista's back. Oh, I like him. Uh, he's <laughs> in the Guardians thing. Yeah. He's credible. Yeah. He's credible. Yeah. yeah, Vince. He's real credible. Very credible. He's real, real credible. Very credible. And he's going to come and beat a, uh, a Ric Flair at the end of last week's Raw. Oh, I love being a Ric Flair. Yeah. Rick, I like being a Ric Flair. <laughs> it, was, it was like beating WCW again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the good days. Yeah, Vince, you just sleep over here. You just sleep uh, over here. Vince falls asleep, nods off. People are doing their thing. Things are getting better. Wakes well, Vince wakes up. What's going on? Part of the party, motherfucker. <laughs> Let me get behind the wheel of this shit. It's like, no, Vince, stop. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. He's just like, okay. Hi, Leroy. <laughs> Go ahead. That basically described Raw. That uh, is, or or the main roster for the most part. Nah. SmackDown has been consistently good, actually. Decent. It's been very good. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I can't complain. I mean, it's better than decent. It, like they're not oversaturated with with hours. No. So they got to maximize their minutes. They got to make shit count. Uh, they've got a great talent roster. Um, it just Kevin Owens is a face now, which is weird. Yeah, so weird. It's weird, particularly because and he's yeah. cutting the white meat baby face promo like. You you keep trashing these hard earned people's money. So they what? come here to pay to see you, and you just go and shit all over them. And I'm here to shut you up, sir. And they're, they're like, yeah, yeah, Kevin Owens, you shut him up. And I'm just like, what? I mean, I mean, you and me are like, what? Because we didn't forget the fact that Kevin Owens like is a, an active douchebag. He's like a super heel. And yeah, not, like, not only that, he's like he's a super heel who got introduced. As a super heel. And, and no, by Vince. Like, take day, you, one, like, yeah. day one, taking <laughs> out his best friend. Yeah, I'm just like, what are you talking about? I didn't forget. And then, like, you reintroduce him as a face by taking away Kofi's match that he earned? That's so weird. And then, like, I'm like, so Ooh. weird. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm like, I was a chair for this guy? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, come on. It's me. Yeah. Fight Owens fight. Like a college thing. People <laughs> think when I wear the Kevin Owens fight Owens fight shirt, they go, college? what college is that? I'm oh, like, it's, it's KO University. <laughs> you fucking not informed person. It's um, Owens University. It's a really small school. It's, yeah, it's in Canada. It's in Canada. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, where is it from? Maryville, Quebec, Canada? Yeah, we fight. It's from Maryville. We're, we're, Maryville, Quebec. I went there. The Owens fight. I went fighters. there for a couple of weeks. They had an annex program. Yeah. Whatever, like a learning exchange thing. It's pretty tight. <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. Um, Shield reunion. Shield reunion. That was woo. Pretty fun. Fighting the mid card of Doom. I feel like they need to bring a faction back or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, like I feel like maybe just bring the the world of Wyatt families ready. Just put them all together again. Have the Shield feud with them. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Just go for it. And then have New Day kind of come in after. Yeah. Feud with the Shield. Yeah. If they're gonna do a reunion tour. They got to reunite, right? That's true. I mean, what better way? And then you got DX, right? Let's let's just have DX. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. but when does the shield become heel and DX becomes face again? Like, when does that know. happen? Because everybody's ready to suck it. I don't know. That's the truth. Everybody's ready to yell suck it. I think I think this is, I think, from, from what reports were, was that they were really, 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 really banking on 
Oh my God, DX is in the Hall of Fame. That's true. How great would it be to have that, all of DX oh my fight God. the Shield? Oh, they're old DX guys. Yeah, yeah, like, like, no, I'm let's just... just beat the shit out of the used to be young guys. <laughs> You guys used to be cool. Let's beat the shit out of you. Shawn Michaels would be like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna oh, speak. wait. And then I didn't even realize the fact that Billy Gunn's in AEW. He is in like, AEW, yeah. Like, working hard like to a take pro- down. Like a producer. He's like, yeah, he's working hard yeah. to make sure that AEW is better than WWE. Yeah. It's, and he's, he's like, I'll take your little ring, motherfucker. <laughs> it, it, the fu- so here's my thing. I, WWE apparently was really banking on the Bucks and Cody and... And Omega signing. Just going for the money. Just, yeah. C- come on. And come they, they want to do come like on. a whole invasion come on. angle. Cash out. Cash, cash out. out. And they're cash like, no. Out. No. No, we got this dude. He's really rich, man. Yeah. He's going to help us create our dreams and shit. Yeah. Come on. What, what man is going to uh, yeah. make your dreams come true? Come, come to the bad product. <laughs> come on. By next year, you will not be nearly worth what you're worth right now if you come to WWE, but you'll get paid yeah. like you're worth it. That's what you want. That's what you need. I'm surprised AJ Styles did as well as he did in his run. Yeah. To be very I, honest with uh-huh. you, I'm very surprised. I had no vision for AJ Styles being past feuds with Jericho. Yeah. No, they really... I mean, Vince... Vince, I guess, stuck to his word. Yeah. You know, because... I don't one? think AJ. I think AJ was apprehensive for coming to. I think like, I, don't, was, yeah. I don't know if I want to do this. I, I think I think most indie stars uh, who have any like level of credibility would be a little apprehensive. Well, yeah, because they, be. they don't have that WWE guy look. There yeah. was a look that you know you would go for. It's like the Rybacks and the John Cena's and the big dog Batistas and yeah Roman Reigns's and Just large those, men. These are. Well, yes, but they, these are the typical guys. They're yeah. Like, kind of. Like, they they're in the mid. Yeah. Not always are they, the, you know, fucking Andre the Giants. Because he doesn't seem to like the big shows and the Braun Strowmans. No. He, you know? He, he likes guys who look like they used to play linebacker in the in the NFL. That's the, Basically, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, if you look like. If you look like JBL. Yeah. That's like his limit, really. Where he's like, mm, okay. <laughs> you're just you're just big enough to not be retarded. He's like, all right, come on in. He's like, come okay, on in. all right. But like, you know, he's like, if he's like, if you're like, oh man, I bench like two seventy, and like, you know, I got like, I like him like like four percent muscle fat. But it's like, yeah, I like it when people say four <laughs> percent. Yeah, that's what I, I want. like when people talk about percentages yeah. in real life. Yeah, I get and it. have no backing to prove it. Mm, get it? Yeah. I love so it. yeah, he's yeah. you know whatever, and then you you try to recruit an AJ Styles guy yeah. and, then, and then you're like hey listen why are you going to NXT he's like nah dog I'm good <laughs> like, like you'd be a really great mid Carter for the WWE <laughs> like yeah I think I'm gonna pass I'm kind of a champion out here yeah it's like it's yeah. kind of working out yeah you know. I get to see my family a lot and yeah. get paid you get paid well I don't have to like scrounge for cash it's nice it's, it's alright you know yeah it's pretty tight I, I, I got a Schwab account yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, my retirement's kind of in there already. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm Gucci dog, I'm Gucci, I'm and, then, and then and they're like, "Listen, we're gonna throw you ten times the amount of money, and you will get a world title run at some point, guaranteed." Okay, guaranteed, guaranteed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I'm down. Uh, I'll see you. Uh, see you practice Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Yeah. I feel like that's that's kind of how it is. Yeah. But this is what's happening to everybody, and this is why Samoa Joe has got a title now. Pretty much, yeah. Because it's like Joe just p- is pissed off. Like, everybody who's pissed off at WWE is now going to management and been like, yeah, I'm going to leave the minute my contract is up because you guys are treating me like shit. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Baby, don't leave. Come yeah. on. And baby, like Vince baby, probably baby. has to go through this every week. There just aren't enough titles to go around. Hey, baby, 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 don't leave me. He's just like uh, that's that's kind of what he's like like he's like you know, Barry White. He's just like baby baby. Baby, 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 baby. Dean Ambrose, I know I did you wrong, baby. But I swear I'm gonna do you right. All right. I have baby. to ask you a question. Did you did you see Broken Matt Hardy make a, a reappearance now on YouTube? It's he, I love Broken Matt Hardy. I love it too, but I'm yeah. confused. I'm like, what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. What is happening? I don't. Woo! I don't think I care at this point. <laughs> like more Broken Matt Hardy, the better. 
There's like he could be like normal, like I'm pseudo normal, but Matt Hardy on WWE programming. I'm okay with pseudo. I, yeah. I've, but like I don't need Mattitude. Mattitude's yeah. over. Like yeah. that was very 2003. Yeah, but as long as I'm okay, as long as I get Broken Matt Hardy on YouTube, I'm happy. I'm like, yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. That's all we need. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's all we need. Uh, the cosmos. All breaking, and it's my <laughs> fault. <laughs> no, in the in the W of the W of the E, Vince McMahon, McMahon. <laughs> has told me I cannot display my broken brilliance to the world. But on YouTube, on the tube of you, all bets are off. <laughs> on the tube delete, of you, delete. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, this is fine. I'm just gonna watch this YouTube instead of watching uh, the actual Hardy Boys. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And then, like, I even wrote a message on, on, like, YouTube. That's how invested I was. I was like, when, but when he did the previous video, it was like, oh, no, I'm broken and I'm woken and I'm, I'm Matt V1. I'm everything, okay? I'm everything now. I'm back in Kakalaki. Everything's, everything's going fine. I was like, Matt, yeah. I don't know, man. It's like, this is just classic WWE. Yeah. Throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Like, dude. You you got it. <laughs> they took it away. That's true. Get it back. Yeah. You know, like I feel bad because they just like they just G'd him out of a contract. He's like, I'm ready to leave, and WWE's like, mm, contract, and mm. he's like, mm, I'm gonna stay. You know, like, <laughs> mm. I have money for you. Take it. Well, I don't think they they extended his money. I think they were just like, no, no contract. You're not leaving. I mean, he still, he still has money. He's still getting money. No, of mm, course. Yeah. And then, you know, they'll give him raises to keep him happy or whatever. It's like feeding a pig, you know, like that's true. For the slaughter. And it's like stuffing them. I don't know. So, um, triple H and Batista. I'm with that. I'm, 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 I, I like that angle. I like the feud. It's all right. You yeah. know, whatever. I mean, it, it's still kind of like, I don't understand why they're feuding. Or then Batista's you're like. Feuding because he beat up Ric Flair. But he's like, I can't do Guardians of the Galaxy 3 right now. So I'm going to come back to WWE and beat you up. And he's like, he's like, Triple H is like, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> really At is. the progressive city of Riyadh. <laughs> he's like, he's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, that's what, like, that's what it is, really. Because like, Batista just showed up. And he's just like. All right, I'm gonna beat a Ric Flair. Do I have your me. attention now, Hunter? And I'm just like, why? But like, why could you just call him? I don't know. Yes. Like, wait, maybe? Oh, maybe that's what the feud's about. The feud is about maybe, the fact that he didn't want to <laughs> sign him. That's maybe, the feud. No, maybe the feud is like, like he was trying to call Hunter, and Hunter was just like sending him to voicemail, and he's like, "Well, Hunter apparently addressed it. He was like, listen, you know, you wanted to cry all over social media and every chance you got about how WWE didn't want you back, and now." Now you're here, Batista, because we didn't want to hire you, basically. Uh, but it would have been way better if he was like, look here, Batista, you've been calling me. And then they, calling they, they me. incorporated some kayfabe that, like, every yeah. time he came back, he quit because he didn't get what he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it would have been cool if they were like, you know what, Batista, I don't understand what you're arguing. Batista's like, I was calling you, man. All right. I've been calling you for a week. Okay. Well, that sounds like um, yeah. like CM Punk and uh, and Corey Graves. Like yeah. They're like, man, punk people are supposed to stick together, <laughs> man. It's about it's about the family. It's about picking people up when you get knocked down. No, and I'm, shit, bro. I, I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking no, about, I know, but that's what it sounds like. No, no. I'm, just, I'm talking about like he just tried to call Hunter for a week. And then he Hunter didn't pick up, so he got mad and beat a Ric Flair. Like, <laughs> Batista, send a voicemail. <laughs> and, like, and then Batista's like, "I've been calling you for like, but like I talked to you last week. I don't care, Hunter. All right, I'm a freaking movie star now. I thought you guys were starving for credibility. All right, you no, don't... no, that's Vince. Okay, <laughs> Vince is starving for credibility. I got my own little jazz session over in NXT that's been going just fine. Okay, you don't ignore my phone calls. All right, you don't. I don't." 
<laughs> but I did. Okay. <laughs> See, well, that's why Ric Flair got beat up. All right. You know what? You know. He's an old man. I don't care. I don't care. He's I, an old freaking man. No, right. Sometimes it's, I get, <laughs> he's seventy years old now. <laughs> that's that's how I leave voicemails. All right. I leave voicemails. He's voice been mails. on Viagra since the fucking roaring twenties. That's, okay? pro- that's probably true. Leave him alone. Like, but he's like, this is how I send voicemails. I send voicemails by beating up other guys and letting them tell you the message later. You know. <laughs> This is who I Woo! am. That was an experience, baby. The nature boy got beat up at 70. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. You're like, no, Rick, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> You're like, Hunter, Batista told me that he wants you Woo! to call him back. Woo! <laughs> Leave a message. Woo, baby, after the beat. Woo! <laughs> Wait, did I get Rick Flair's voicemail? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! No, but like that. I mean, that's what I do now, baby. Woo! I mean, it's like, all right, I get it. Like they, they everyone knew the storyline was coming. Where he's like, oh, you wanted to sign back at WWE, blah blah blah. I, I, I just like the way they initiated the angle, and it's you know, it'd be interesting to see if Batista could still go. He's, he's coming back next week or something. He's yeah. gonna be on Raw. He's still young enough. He's still young enough to go for like and like, <laughs> he's he, like he, he's, he's hundred. He doesn't want to do it anymore. He's got an itch. Yeah. That's why this is happening now. Pretty much, He's yeah. got an itch. He's got a time He said he schedule. talked to AEW. They're like, no, 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 Yeah, no. yeah. They're like, come on back. <laughs> We're gonna chill. Come on, Batista. Stop it. Relax. Stop. What, what, do you, what do they say they're paying? Relax. They're, they're going to pay me $2 million. <laughs> Every time I show my face. Okay, we can't afford that. Relax. Come on back. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. And and, and, <laughs> and the Khan family promised me free Jaguar tickets forever. <laughs> Stop it, Batista. It's okay. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really want to wrestle again. I don't care. I want to wrestle you. Uh, I mean, I mean, he's also like still making a movie while he's doing it, apparently. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, and I have a movie star now. <laughs> He is. He's like a legit movie star. So, I'm not uh, taking that away from him. Yeah. I'm just saying that's probably how this conversation went down. Yeah. Because I remember reading the report that he went to AEW. Yeah. And then they were like, stop. Come back. Come back. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. You're a movie star. You're a big man. You're a big man now, Batista. Yeah. I am a big man. I am. I am a big man. I am I'm a, bi- a big. And I can be a Baron Corbin or whoever. I'm a beast, okay? I'm a beast, okay? Rrr. Rrr. They don't call me Bootista. They call me Beastista, all right? They call me Drax the Destroyer. It would be really dope if he came out at WrestleMania as Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> that would be really hard. Oh, my. Uh, honestly. would be really hard. Honestly, all that oh. makeup and sweating. Oh, yeah. No, it's you know, like Kane. It's yeah. like Kane's unmasking again. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, no, you know what? It looks like Kane was wearing eyeshadow by the time it was like all done. The be- no, the all right. I I I found a happy medium. If he just cuts all his promos as Drax the Destroyer, and this is just like Hunter. Listen, <laughs> you're not very smart. You're ugly amongst all of your species. I really think that you should reconsider your life options because you're now somehow tied into this. American corporate machine when no you should stay where you are actually there's nothing better for you <laughs> no this is this is where you belong this is where you belong I like this I feel like that would be really strong a strong way to keep this feud going <laughs> because I don't honestly like my thing is like this I don't understand you got like you don't have to like stretch this out for like a month and a half to get to Wrestlemania right so what else can you what, what can Hunt what can Triple H do to Batista to really make him like pissed off i mean there's a billion things batista could do like he's probably gonna like power bomb stephanie yeah i mean i would just like yeah. not i i i think at this point like he's just there for the wrestlemania ma- match that, that's what i'm thinking yeah i mean it's like other if because if he wasn't and he was back and he was like on full rotation like have him have matches and shit yeah you know? but like if he's just there for the wrestlemania match and he's just like i just want to fight you one more time hunter yeah you're a piece of crap. You know, like, <laughs> fucking Hall of Fame's coming up. You know, wanna, fucking wanna beat de- you. Destroy all of DX at the Hall of Fame. That would be awesome. That would be actually just, a really just good angle. Just nonstop mind games. Like, pull the Cerebral Assassin angle as Batista. That would actually be a fantastic angle. Yeah, actually. just, like, anything he does. Like, go down to NXT. Like, hi, Hunter. I heard your office is here. I'd like to sign up and be your new recruit. Now, come on, Dave. What, what the fuck? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. No, I'm your recruit now. <laughs> Why don't we go out to the ring and have a trial match? You know, and then like 
And then like William Regal comes back, hey, hey, Batista, what are you doing? And then he just beats up William Regal. Like, that would you be know? fun. Yeah, that, that he's just fun. there to torment him. You know, that could be fun. Uh, that's why it won't happen. Like, cause it's like it's just. I know, like, cause we can think of these things so good. on a podcast about yeah. two guys who just genuinely like wrestling style storytelling. Yeah, and and like they can't with all their might and power think of like, well, how do you get me through this? I know a series of fucking uh, angles where you're just in the ring talking shit about each other. And yeah. then maybe once in a while, somebody gets beat up. Yeah. It's come on. It's played out already. Yeah. Batista is a pissed off Hollywood actor who some, for some reason has a gripe with triple H, you yes. know, even though he's like, well moved past it already at this point. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't really get it. Yeah. Like little... there's no reason for Batista to actually be there other than the fact that like, he has a problem with Triple H, and he wants you. to make his life miserable. Triple H didn't answer his phone call. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but that's that's, it. that's that, fine. That's a good objective. It's yeah. a good starting objective. He's like, I don't. He's like, I'm ones. a Hollywood actor. You, you don't <laughs> ignore me. You respect my time. All right, my time is precious. I, I, but I mean, like, if if he's back in full rotation, the Miz has like an angle that is just very easy. The Miz is like, you're no A lister. I'm an A lister. And then Batista's like. <laughs> chump and then like yeah has has like a couple of quasi good matches with him i like that yeah I'm a i mean it's that. uh john cena could come back and be like bro uh, i'm I, in the hollywood circuit too baby he's like yeah but you're not really in the hollywood circuit all right yeah exactly and yeah. that's like that's the kind of shit that can go around like you don't need to just but if you're only focused on triple h only focus on triple h yeah that's true you know just just throw triple h to the lines at this point might as well you know like He's he's like just out by a parking lot with a bat. <laughs> that would be really funny, actually. Yeah. H- hey, how you doing, Hunter? Come out to play. Look what I found. I found your phone, Hunter. This is weird. It's like weird. It answers messages. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna call it. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh wow, it hey, works. It's me, Dave. <laughs> it works really well, Hunter. That's the, in your mind. That's the feud. It's like worse than a coffee pot. Feud. That's, it's like, a, that's what it is. I'm feuding with you because you didn't pick up. It's a voicemail Next feud. Time I call. You should probably think about picking up. Do you know that people don't call each other anymore, Hunter? Huh? You know what? How I could. Everybody just, loves texting. I can just send you a text message, Hunter. But no. All right. I respect you. So I called you. It and went, then it went to voicemail, and now I'm here to beat you up. All right, all right. I know when you send people to voicemail, Hunter, okay? One ring voicemail. That's definitely you sending me to voicemail, Hunter, all right? It's classic voicemail <laughs> etiquette. All right? Classic voicemail etiquette. I'm, I'm sorry, Dave. I was, I, was Dave in a, I was in a meeting. Don't you see? I, was in I got a- these kids over here. <laughs> I got kids now. Uh, I don't just have three with Steph. I got like a million in this thing. I don't I care. Work. I don't care, Hunter, all right? I don't have time for your crap, Batista. <laughs> right? You don't understand. We you... were an evolution, Hunter. Right? I mean, the evolution's a mystery and all that, but listen. All right, that's why I had to beat up Ric Flair to send a voicemail to you. Stop beating people up. No. Right? Now I'm going to beat up Randy Orton so he can send you a voicemail. It says... <laughs> I Nobody want... gives a crap about Orton anymore, okay? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm going to go beat him up on SmackDown. Fine. <laughs> Orton doesn't even give a shit. Go beat him up. Give him something to do. God damn it. He's like miserable feuding with AJ Styles he, right now. He he does, just, just yeah. please go. He looks so sad feuding with AJ Styles. It's really actually kind of funny. He's like, fine. You work. He's like, yeah. You working be- for the man. Working for the man. Did you build something, AJ? You built this house? Mm-hmm. Really? Snake. Really? I'm an old snake. <laughs> I'm slithering more now. Slither, slither. I'm really, really leathery, <laughs> like Rick was. Uh, that's exactly what he is right now, kind yeah. of. But like, he doesn't have like the coolness of like Rick of like, Rick Flair. Where Rick Flair was like, "I'm an old goober, woo, but I'm cool, woo." I still, I still bang girls, uh, woo. And he's just like, I could get it up with Viagra. <laughs> he's like, come here, beautiful lady, woo. And he's just like, okay. And Randy's like, I don't, I get beautiful ladies since birth like enough you know he's like i get tons of beautiful ladies and then i eat them because <laughs> <laughs> like i'm a snake <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> like, what? i'm a praying mantis 
He's like, what are you doing? I bang women and eat their heads. Whoa, whoa. Dark, dark, dark Randy. You're taking it too far, man. And I then, don't want to be here. I don't want to be here, man. I don't know what my gimmick is anymore. Rick Flair is like, Rick Flair is like, like Bill Clinton, and then like Randy Orton is like, I'm like, nah. <laughs> my name is Dan Quayle. <laughs> nah. I used to be vice president during the Bush administration. <laughs> he was like, what is happening here? Stop, Randy. Stop. You're not Dan Quayle. Calm down. <laughs> I don't know what I am anymore. <laughs> My life is a lie. Yeah. I have a beautiful wife and a family. I'm not a snake. I don't understand. I'm not a snake. I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm a person. I like I like this the office version of WWE. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shinsuke's like, uh, excuse me, do you know where the water cooler is? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's over there, Shinsuke. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. This is a kid Shinsuke. Chocolate. Remember when he used to wrestle? That was the thing. Oh yeah. Now yeah. he's just looking for the water cooler all day long. Okay. Hey, Archie, what's up? <laughs> Uh, Aren't you? You had a push last week. Yep. Now I don't, baby. All right. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Later. Thanks for coming. Wait, no. No, you work here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks for staying. (laughs) Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. So, what else happened happened this week? Becky and Charlotte had a face to face on SmackDown. Of course. And then she put her into the summer. That was fun. Good segment, I guess. It's exactly. It's yeah, like yeah. it's the only segment that goes from Raw to SmackDown, yeah. and it's like it doesn't need to. It's weird because it's like it's like it's like they keep doing this build up thing, and I'm just like, this is it's built. Yeah, it's kind of built already. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> it's like all right, I get it. I know you're trying to do like Austin. Like I'm getting over it as they're built. Like the more they build it up, the more I'm like, I don't need the payoff. Just enough. Like that's it. You know, like. I think what they should have done, realistically, is kept doing the Becky run-ins, I guess, and but make it a little less like, oh, she's going to run in the ring, but more like she beats her up on the street. <laughs> you know what I That's mean? That's true. Like, all right, you barred me from the arena, but you didn't bar me from the parking lot, you bastards. You know? Like, <laughs> nah, that would be fun, yeah. And I bought my friends, they are the bar. <laughs> you know, like. That's true. Yeah. No. Well, you're getting men now? That's not okay. All right, that is not cheating. okay. That's cheating. All right. I don't like this. This is cheating. T- you're going to talk to me about cheating. <laughs> you going to talk to me, Charlotte? Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. So it's like there's so many things happening in that storyline, including the Ronda Rousey heel turn that we kind of just like glossed over. You know. Because um, why? What's yeah. the point? What's the point of <laughs> yeah. her... Being a heel, yeah. What's like, the point of her being a face? Like, like just let her, yeah, bumble over her lines like she's been doing. She's like, damn <laughs> the man, <laughs> and the, and the, <laughs> the hell with the woo, and <laughs> damn the man. I'm like, what are you talking? Who wrote this for you? <laughs> Did someone write this for you? <laughs> Stop. Listen, let me. Uh, <laughs> so I, I believe, I believe in in justice and um. And equality. What, what? Wait, what's the word again? <laughs> it's like it's equality. I, I'm the baddest bitch on the planet. And I'm like, well, what? Huh? How did you get to like justice and equality and the baddest bitch on the planet? What are you talking about, Rhonda? You you know what I'm talking about, okay? Ba- I'm gonna go get my hair done back. All right. And if I can't, if I if I can't face <laughs> the best, okay, then I don't want this title, okay? By the way, I didn't. No, no, sh- you are Charlotte. <laughs> Woo, she is the best. <laughs> Like, but by the way, uh, when I put the title down last week, that didn't mean I vacated it. It just meant um, I was giving her a rest. It was, it was heavy. It was, a, it was symbolic. It's like you know, like a symbol, symbolic gesture. You know, like it wasn't like I didn't sign a contract. So technically, it's still. And they were like, "Oh, there's gonna be a new champion tonight." <laughs> no, no, I'm back. <laughs> So it's like you know, like how Braun Strowman's like the the greatest Royal Rumble champion. Like that's like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like he can like leave the the belt on. The, like he, but I am the belt. But I, but I still I'm still he's still the champion. You know because you have to be with the greatest Royal Rumble. So I'm still the champion. You know. I think they should do interim champions. By that the would way. be so much fun. I think they should start doing that. Like no no Ronda Rousey's the champion, but there's gonna be an interim champion. You know like if Ronda Rousey leaves, like you know whenever she comes back. 
you can come back whenever you want, Ronda. And you'll be <laughs> the champion, okay? Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we're going to have uh, some interim champions in the meantime. Then we'll have a belt versus belt match. And that's like how you got Shawn Michaels versus Razor with that's the yeah, double sure. IC title. That's true. Yeah. was because Shawn's like, I'm not giving up the belt. That's also how you had CM Punk versus Cena, belt versus belt. For like who was the true WWE champion? That's I love interim champions. Yeah, I think it's great. It's fun. It's good. Yeah, I think it would be great. I mean, it's not like in the '90s where it's like, oh no, the belt secret. It's like it's not. It's a prop, dude. Like, let's just be real. It that's what it is. It is. It's a a fucking prop to say I am the best. Yay! I have the belts of the best. Only the best man can have the belt. Up, I I got the belt now. No, there will be no belts on the day of the show. <laughs> That's like AEW staying. Like, yeah. You're like, oh, yes, on double or nothing, there will be no belts. <laughs> no belts for anyone. No belts for anyone. We will have belts on the television debut only. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, my God. When's their event? It's after Mania, right? It, is it after Mania? It's in May. Double or double nothing? I think double so. or nothing. Yeah. They don't need to call it double or nothing. They got it. They they definitely sold out. Nah, bro. Tony Khan's like all in times a thousand at this point. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, no. We don't have to double or nothing anymore. I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm all about it. I can't believe they sold out in like 15 minutes in Vegas. That That is astounding. Yeah. I mean, like, WWE couldn't dream of doing that in Vegas right now with their current fucking drunk driving product. That's true. I mean, uh, what else happened this week? What what else happened? I'm really struggling here. Uh, Roman Reigns is back. Let's talk about Ambrose. What's up? Uh, you said he might be staying. Why do you think that? They they're well. They think he might be staying. Uh, the the fat thinks he might be staying because that he. Also, <laughs> yeah, that uh, we don't really know. Dane Ambrose is the lunatic friend. That he's ultimately going to stay because you know they're like they're they're treating him better. They took out the stupid like sirens. Yeah, that's like being treated better by an abuser. It's like, yeah, no, nah, he's being good this week. He that's hasn't, true. He hasn't hit me. That's true. And the, but they also you know he hasn't completely destroyed my character this week. Roman's working on him. Roman's been like trying. Recruit him. Tell Why? Him Why would what's what could Roman fucking possibly say that other than like, hey man, we're gonna do the shield all the time? It's like I don't want to do the shield all the time. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like when you say like I kind of want to be Beyonce, and then they're like, nah, bro, but stay in Destiny's Child, stay in Destiny's you Child. You could be Kelly though. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I'm saying? But like that's the thing. It's like he. He definitely has his own career. He does. I, so I don't it's know. It's just like he's forgetting that if he's staying at this point. I think, I think there's, a, there's a feeling, apparently, among WWE's staff that he's going to stay. Ultimately, he's going to resign. But right, Why? But Why right, would you do that? But right it's now, so stupid. Right now, the plan is still that he's leaving. The give me that sweet, sweet juice. Yeah, I mean, like, it, that, that like, was give, only two months ago. Give me that money. <laughs> give me that sweet, sweet money injected into my butt. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the Fed is this. All right, let's be real. Let's be real. The Fed has always made their best decisions when they're under pressure, right? And you know, AEW's on the rise, so they're they're gonna be under pressure. So we'll see. You know. So they're gonna just throw him a crazy amount of cash, is what you're saying? Like more than a million dollars? I don't think Vince will ever do that to any human being. I mean, he'll he'll give him a very good contract, probably. But I think what the guarantees are gonna have to be is gonna be probably more than money. You know, because I think that's what a lot of the guys are. I think that's the issue for a lot of the guys who are leaving is that it's not about the money. Well, I mean, look at what they did. They brought back Lashley. Yeah. He's in the mid card of Doom. Yeah, stable. The, like, ba- the Barons. <laughs> the, the Baron and his Corbins. <laughs> Mi- Mick Mick Orbin La uh, Mick Orbin Lee Mick Orbin Lee. The the Mick so Orbin Lee. ridiculous. Baron Mick Orbin Lee. All right, uh, Baron Mick Lash. Mick, just stop. Mick, it's just Mick, stop. La- it's Mick terrible. Lash Orbin. It's terrible. Why give it a name? Like, <laughs> Baron why McLashley. Poli- why polish a turd and try to sell it to me? <laughs> Baron- why are you doing that? Stop polishing a turd. Introducing Baron McLashley. <laughs> turd. <laughs> turd. <laughs> turd. Turd. And I'll tell you why. Because like Lashley was like finally getting over. Yeah. You know, in his yeah. own right. And then like they're like, oh, we're going to take your mouthpiece away. Why? Why are you doing this? I don't know. Stop it. I don't know. Stop it. Why are you making Leo Rush good by putting him into matches? Because he's, he's great. No, I'm I'm saying, but that's bad. That's hurtful yeah, to Lashley at this point. Bit, yeah. Like, if you, here's the thing. Like, you can't fucking just see a shiny object and then completely shift course. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, okay, like Lashley's like, you know, doing good. He's got his mouthpiece. It's like getting over a little bit. You just gave him the IC title. That's cool. Ah, oh, ah, oh, Finn Balor's over there. <laughs> hmm. Why is Finn? Finn's so cool. I, I, I don't want to lose Finn. You know, like, but yet you forget what makes Finn cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, of course. I you mean, you forget the fact that the demon, like, is a thing that you just don't use ever. ever. Yeah. And don't give him title shots. And, like, come on, man. Like, I don't want to be talking about the demon, like, a year later. That like when was the last time we saw it? Uh, when he faced AJ Styles, I think, right? No, Slam was when he beat Corbin. That was the last time. Uh, so yeah, okay. What's what was the point? He needed to bring out the demon for that shit. Like, come on, Corbin's a fucking chump. He is a chump. He's a beautiful chump. I yeah. I mean, like, listen, I don't have any real problems with him as a person, but he's a chump as a wrestler. Like, I it's mean, boring. Yeah, I it's mean, fucking yeah. boring as shit. You know, like the most interesting thing he did was be the the general manager and an active wrestler and like give himself all the edges. Yeah. Yeah. I, listen, I lost, but we're going to restart this match. You know, <laughs> I mean, but that's what you're supposed to do when you're, I know you're, you're, I understand that. And it was fine. It was going, it was going okay until everybody got injured and like, uh, Roman had leukemia and that was like, Oh, we're going to stop. Uh, this is bad. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, it's true. That's true. And then give the title back to fucking vacant, basically. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Undefeated. Vacant. Vacant's undefeated. They need to create a wrestler named Vacant. And he just come out like he just he's just in a black silhouette. Like he's like um he's like the golden the golden El Dorados or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's all black. He's it's like, it's like I win the title and then just walks away. <laughs> like he doesn't wrestle. He never wrestles in a match. Well. He's like, I am your champion. And then like walks, <laughs> like Vince is like, this is my this is my undefeated enforcer, the twenty five time world champion <laughs> vacant. All right, <laughs> hi, I'm vacant, and then just walks away. <laughs> I will cut the best promo, and then walks away. Like, he doesn't cut a promo. Here, I'm here to wrestle. Oh my god! If Breezango was in charge of WWE, vacant would definitely be a wrestler. Bacon. If Breezango was in charge, vacant will. There would be a lot of changes going on. <laughs> Honestly, I miss Southpaw. I miss Southpaw Regional Wrestling. That was amazing. That would be fantastic, yeah. Some yeah. of those gimmicks are, like, classic. Easily, probably. I honestly think the done. Good Brothers should just be Chad Too Bad and, and uh, what's the other? Uh, Chad Too Bad and uh, te- sex, uh, uh, tex- sex Ferguson. Tex Ferguson. No, it was Sex Ferguson, it was sex but they Ferguson. changed it to Tex Ferguson. Tex Ferguson, yeah. <laughs> Chad <laughs> Too Bad. Awesome. That was honestly fucking great. That made them interesting. It did. It really is like... I'm the, listen, baby, I'm Chad too bad. Okay. Uh, you see my gators? I know you hate that. You know right? You see my <laughs> Rock Z28? I know you hate that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Everything about South Pole was great. Um, all right. Let's, I guess let's cover NXT because, like, geez. Things happened. This fucking week was just dismal. Dismal, dismal week. So it's a Dusty Road classic again. Mm hmm. We're back. It's great. Yes. Um, Ricochet and Aleister Black, still a team, still, still on NXT. Yes. They're on everything else, too. Yes. They're yeah. the only people that are surviving from these, like, mystery call-ups that week. It's... I don't know what they're doing with them, honestly. They're a team. They're a fucking team, bro. Aleister Black has kind of, like, lost his undefeated thing, so I, it's I fine. Think, I think they might be getting them ready to, to put them in the Dusty. They're in the Dusty. Yeah. They just they faced Fabian Eichner and oh, Marcel yeah. Barthel. So, I mean, um, Alzer's, leave, Alzer's leaving. Alzer's getting called up, called up. So I know that for sure, sure. He's he's going to the, he's going to the main roster. He should leave uh, Ricochet in the dust. And then Ricochet's like, oh, I'm really mad in NXT. I can't wait to go to the main roster and beat him up. That would be nice. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, but they don't do things like that. Uh, Oni Lorcan, Danny Birch versus they're still a team, huh? Yes, they are. Versus the Forgotten Sons. I know they had a great match. I just, you know, it's great, cool. Street Profits versus Mustache Man. It's all Dusty Rhodes classic. Yeah. All right, Street Street Profits keeping it's it cool, keeping it dusty. Mustache Mountain defeated them. Yeah. Mm, sad. Uh, Velveteen Dream addresses the NXT universe. He's the U.S. Champ, North American champion. But wait, Matt Riddle comes out. Whoa. I'm looking forward to Riddle versus the Dream. Riddle versus anybody's pretty good. I'm yeah. just like, 
I don't know. This this week has just kind of like left a sour taste in my mouth. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, like I'm just uh, I'm just kind of mad with this whole Ronda Rousey thing. I think they really messed it up. I think they messed up Becky. I think they messed up Rousey. I'm just mad. I'm just mad. You gotta let it go, man. I'm like the mad rapper. You can't. Why are you so mad, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> can't you can't be like the mad rapper, man? You gotta let it go. You gotta let it. You know things happen. They made decisions. They made bad decisions. They made poor decisions. They've they've invested unwisely. They did, and that's why Cody Rhodes is still not Stardust because not. Cody never wanted to be Stardust, and now Cody's running a company now, bro. I mean, his brother might also go to AEW. But not not probably in a wrestling capacity, in like a management capacity, I'm assuming. He's he's already changed his name to Dustin Rhodes. Yeah. So, well, can he can he be Dustin Rhodes outside of WWE? I think he could be Dustin Runnels. He, I mean, uh, he might be Dustin Runnels. Yeah. Because yeah. so, Cody can't even be Cody Rhodes. He's like just Cody. Cody. I'm just no, dude. I'm just Cody. Just Cody, <laughs> bro. Um. Yeah. We didn't even talk about King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy passed away. Yeah. And, that's and Luke Perry. And Luke Perry. All sad things. Tragedies. I mean, uh, King Kong Perry was... I mean, King Kong Perry. King <laughs> Kong... That's a new yeah, wrestler. Yeah, yeah. We are one. <laughs> King, uh, King Kong Bundy had a very... You know, he lived a really good life. He had, I actually yeah. met him uh, once, too. When we I met, met Jake yeah, the Snake. Me, yeah. yeah. It was f- fucking cool. Uh-huh. You know, and Old he, school cats, man. He will be missed. Luke Perry was a kind of a shocker for a lot of people. Yeah. You know. No, I mean, he's 52, dude. He's, he's young, yeah. He's fucking young, man. My brother still watches Riverdale, and he, he, I was just like, I, watch, I, I walked in the other day. I was like, oh, shit, is that Luke Perry? He's like, yeah, it's Riverdale. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, you know. You think they're going to write him out of the show? I mean, actually? they've been trying to kill him for like the last two seasons, so. I don't know. <laughs> he's just. Now nah, he, nah, he just, like, he actually passed, and so it's. I don't. I don't watch Riverdale. I don't know anything about that show. It's it's uh it's there. It's there. It's about Archie, right? It's about Archie. If Archie was like uh like a real teen drama. No, no, not at all. Have you been watching oh. Deadly Class, by the way? I have. Speaking of ADD, I I, I I I've I've watched a certain amount of the episodes. I love the comic, so it's like it's hard for me to watch those those episodes because it's, uh, it's just, not hard for me because I don't know the comic. Yeah, there's so much. Taken in and out. So I, I love the show though. The show it's cinematically mm-hmm. uh, very good. We should like t- it's like watching a movie. Honestly, I it like I like the the, the quality of it. Like I think the like the cinematic cinema, cinematic quality is fantastic. There's just some stuff that they jumble around that I'm just like I don't know. So you know, but they like they they do have. That's the problem with comic yeah. enthusiasts. If you yeah. don't stick exactly to the book, they no, get, they get a little annoyed. Yeah, I will say this. I'll say this. They are, they add some stuff to some of the characters that I really like. There's like fleshed them out a little bit more. Yeah, and so you know, I think the storytelling is magnificent. Yes. Honestly, yes, it, it's great. Um, not to completely like jumble like, around, but like I just the, like there's certain there's certain character changes that I'm not super 110 percent all about on. Uh, specifically uh, dealing with uh, Master Lin, but like that's a kind oh of, yeah, uh, Master Lin's a little a little that, a little kind of like like I saw him cower to to the the, the cartel and yeah. I was like, mm, what, what's this? Yeah, this doesn't feel right. I feel like he could like take out the cartel in like a snap. Yeah, so like, like a finger snap. Like, there's like know? there's like like I said, like there's stuff that I'm just like. Okay. Well, yeah, he's also like a little old man in the in, in the, the comic yeah. book, and then like in. In um in the show, he's but he's like Benedict Wong. Right? <laughs> he's just kind of like, oh he's yeah, careful. listen, I, I try to please everybody, you know. Yes. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that's wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning into the Smart Tank. You can reach us at our email at wearesmarks at gmail dot com. You can write to us on our Facebook at facebook dot com slash alexmarks. You can also write to us at our Twitter at alexmarks. Hopefully, uh, next week they just you know clean Vince up and you know. Put him to sleep for a little bit and let tri- <laughs> Triple H drive the car again. Yes. Because, ugh, gross. Gross week, ultimately, for me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Right. You want to send us off there, Bobbert? Better go.